The higher education landscape is work in progress. We're always building things, changing things, pulling things down, trying to make things better. We face successive challenges, changes in government policy, new student demands, new needs, new expectations. We change all the time. Two particular challenges that we face across higher education, college education, all aspects of education, is student retention and student attainment. How do we address these two issues in a better, more consistent manner? Opportunities for addressing these challenges come from the revolution in digital data. In recent years, we've seen extraordinary transformations in the volumes of data that we can store. We've seen systems of transmission get faster and faster. We've seen the availability of affordable mobile devices that help us gain access to resources from this data rapidly and wherever we are. We have devices that know where we are, anticipate what we want to know. All of these things are changing our world. We've become very used to recommender systems, for example, such as Amazon, which anticipate the books we want to read before we know it. We're used to disruptive technologies that change long familiar services. Uber's a very good example here. And we're used to aggregator systems that pull information together in valuable ways. Airbnb, for example that's transformed the world of holiday making and accommodation. It follows that all of these things will in time have applicability to the world of education and will help us to address those core challenges such as student retention and student attainment. Let's look a little more closely at some of the questions we might want to ask that could make all this digital data useful for us in education. For example, could we get better information to our students earlier to help them make critical choices? How could we use digital information to identify students at risk and save them from the sorts of difficulties that might lead them not to continue their studies? Would we be able to help students look ahead by identifying patterns in their learning that tell us their particular interests and help us anticipate them? And could we perhaps make life easier for our teachers, our administrators, on our educational professionals, helping get information to them timelessly and appropriately to do their jobs better. All of these are questions that certainly would make information worthwhile were we to put effort into developing applications for now and the future. This digital revolution is not just about colleges and universities. It's big business. We're seeing more and more vendors offer sophisticated products to colleges and universities, which enable them to manage their content, manage their learning environments, and transform the way they work. It's transforming publishers. The publishing world is moving online. Instead of selling conventional textbooks, it's selling online resources on a subscription basis. And governments and other public authorities are intensely interested in the data and indicators they can derive from digital data that help them fulfill their public responsibilities for education systems. This is all part of an increasingly complicated ecosystem that will shape education into the future. And this brings us to learning analytics, a field with its own conferences, its own practitioners, its own theory. But just what is learning analytics?